I'm Jeremy Lofredo for Rebel News in Burdenhead, Pennsylvania. It's here, in this old Amish community where armed federal agents recently raided Miller's organic meat and dairy farm. The government is arguing that the farm isn't adhering to federal regulatory requirements concerning food, while the farm argues that this is just the latest attack on independent farmers giving their communities healthy food. If you believe the federal government has no place in telling the Amish how they can prepare their healthy, nutritious food for their communities, then go to leavethemalone.com and defend the Amish. Sign our petition. Thank you. The Miller Organic Farm in Burdenham, Pennsylvania, a remote Amish village, has been around for almost 30 years. The farm supplies everything from grass-fed beef and cheese to raw milk and organic eggs to dairy from grass-fed on-site water buffalo and all types of produce to roughly 4,000 private food club members who pay top dollar for high-quality whole food. The private food club members cherish their ability to get food from an independent farmer who isn't processing his meat and dairy at United States Department of Agriculture facilities, which mandates food be prepared in ways that Miller believes make it less nutritious. Miller contends that he's preparing food the way God intended. The U.S. government doesn't see it that way. They recently sent armed federal agents to the farm and demanded he cease operations. The government is also looking for more than $300,000 in fines, a request so steep it would put the farm out of business. This is an attack on Amish religious freedoms just 150 miles miles outside of Washington, D.C. It also speaks to the gross corruption at the USDA. As is available on the USDA site, the agency is funded mostly by the federal government, but it also receives hundreds of millions of dollars from the agricultural industry. Companies like Bayer, Syngenta, and Cargo stand to lose millions, even billions of dollars worth of market share if more American farmers opt for holistic farming practices like Miller's Farm instead of chemical-heavy, technology-heavy, industry-friendly practices. Making it even more independent, Miller's Farm doesn't use any gasoline or fertilizer, and therefore the war between Ukraine and Russia isn't affecting his bottom line. He's not dependent, and he's providing healthy food to his community the way he believes God intended, and the government is trying to intimidate and shut it down. Rebel News will be here in Amish country at the end of the week when the farm explains to the community their next move in their fight against the federal government. For Rebel News, I'm Jeremy Lafredo. If you believe the federal government has no place in telling the Amish how they can prepare their healthy, nutritious food for their communities, then go to leavethemalone.com and defend the Amish. Sign our petition. Thank you.